Hello everyone, Rupert here, and today we're going to be doing the Sikra Approach mission in FSX. Now this is rated as a beginner level mission, and I thought I'd just do it as it's got great scenery, and really just to kick off the FSX mission series that I'm going to be doing in the very near future. So, let's get on with it. Okay, here we are then. Start the runway. Reduce power and let's start down. The wind is blowing from the west, so we'll land on runway two niner. We always want to land into the wind. Okay. So we're gonna to want to maintain a descent rate of about, about minus five hundred feet per minute. May need to increase it because we have started at quite a high altitude. And the runway elevation is 90 feet, so we've got to go down a l quite a long way. So we're going to have to maintain quite a steep descent rate. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. But yeah, as I say, I uh, thought we'd do this This mission. is It's nice and easy, good scenery, and it should be a great way to kick off the new FSX mission series that I'm going to be doing. So. increase our descent rate just a tad. 7.5 miles away. I did try and disable the red label that that uh Yeah as I was saying I couldn't get rid of the red labels that tell you about the aircraft traffic information. I did try, but uh, I, I just couldn't do it. I think it might be because it's a beginner mission, it, they're automatically on. Because in my settings it says they're off, but yeah. I'm not too bothered. Okay, so we're going to want to add a notch of flaps now as soon as we're in the white arc, which yeah, we are, so we're fine now. I hear people talking about the white arc, it's this little white bit here. It's kind of the flap, the safe, safe flap speed. Sent rate's a little bit too high, but as I say, not a lot I can do. Started off pretty high, so. Maintain around about 75 knots, so. So we're not coming in too fast, so it gives us a little bit of time to de decrease our altitude. In fact, I might slow down to 70 knots, actually. Trim in our descent rate. I'm just going to keep flying at this uh, little mountainous bit here until I uh, am roughly in line with the runway so I can do a nice straight in approach. And when I'm established on final, I'm going to want to add in my final notch of flaps. Still pretty high at the moment. Okay, we'll start to turn now so we don't get too close to the mountain. I'm going to reduce throttle again, add off, add a second notch of flaps, and turn towards the runway. I'm going to maintain about 70 knots okay. at the moment. Is necessary to start lining up with the runway. Okay. a little bit of speed, a bit of throttle to bring up our speed just a tad. So we're going to maintain around about 70 knots right now. Uh, you can see the Cessna 208 is just at the tip of my mouse cursor there, it's that light there on the runway. Okay, 
Yeah, we can start to ease off on our descent rate just a tad now because... Uh, we're getting on a good, good approach course now. See if we can make a nice smooth landing. Of other, other, um, because you know, my last video, the one where I landed at Saber, it's. I seem to balloon too much and then it was a very hard landing. Hopefully we'll do a nice soft one this time. Slow to 65 knots and add the rest of the flaps as we slow down. Let's maintain 65 knots on final. I can feel a little bit of wind right now. So we'll just pull off to the left just a tad. I think there may be a tiny bit of a crosswind. Not very strong, but I can kind of feel it pulling. I'm going to... Compensate for that. Okay, I'm going to slow down now to about 65 knots, as he said, and add in our final notch of flaps, because we're getting quite close now. On a short final now, I would say, so... Add a bit of throttle just to maintain our speed. A bit of forward pressure on the stick as well, just to keep our descent rate down. Okay. I have to do quite a lot of forward pressure on the stick at the moment, so I'm going to trim that out. A little bit to the right at the moment, so I'm going to turn off to the left. Okay. A bit of forward pressure. So we're going to land on the runway. At the moment, I'm think. At the moment, my my visual aiming point is the runway threshold. A bit of windage there. And then when we get a little bit closer, I'll shift it down the runway just a tiny bit. Because you don't tend to want to land on the runway threshold. You tend to want to land about 50 feet, 100 feet on from that. So there you go. Push down just a little bit. Ease off our descent rate just a bit. Okay. And then about now we're going to want to do a tiny flare just to settle the wheels on the runway. There we go. Okay. We are down. Nice landing. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed that, everyone. Just a quick video to get us into the spirit of some FSX missions and I will see you in the very near future.